We've got a buy this weekend, so um, during the week we went to a couple of uh, the meetings and uh, a couple of training sessions, and um, you know, Nathan kindly invited us into the box tonight, so uh, just to get a bit of a view on how they do things here, and hopefully, uh, and we have, we've certainly picked a couple of things up that uh, you know will certainly help the storm. It's amazing in the in the box. You know, I've been into a couple of other boxes over the years, but you know, the one up there tonight was really well controlled. Everyone was reasonably calm most of the time, and like I say, it, it was a very impressive organisation. So um, the big thing tonight for us was how, how long the night was. You know, again, these guys probably get here you know, a couple of hours before the game, and the game's a lot longer than our game as well. And half, half time is double our half time, so everything seemed like a really long night. But um, like I say, it was really enjoyable. It was a great game, and um, like I say, everyone's been very welcoming here, and we're really appreciative. Star Melbourne Storm coach Craig Bellamy spending the night Friday night against Geelong in the box and also in the Collingwood rooms. Well, from one star to another, I'm joined by All-Australian centre halfback Ben Reid. Ben, welcome to the club. Great to have you here, mate. Uh, before we talk about your injury, just want to talk a little about Friday night. Uh, it must have been thrilled with the win. Yeah, it was. It was great to come out. Obviously, after last year's grand final defeat, the boys wanted to come and put a good foot forward and were able to do that and get the win, which was really pleasing. Bit tense in that final term. They had all the momentum, came back, levelled the scores. Now, you were on the bench at that stage. What was going through your mind? Yeah, I was just hoping to get over the line <laughs> in the end. Um, the last 10 minutes were, uh, you know, I think they had 23 inside 50 or something for the last quarter. And speaking to Heater after the game, he said he, uh, he, wish he, he usually likes having a lot of kicks, but he was hoping he wouldn't get that many. But... Um, it was very frantic and uh, we're just lucky we got the, got the points in the end. Now the Cats got away to a pretty good start, particularly their key forwards, uh, Podsy, Adley and Hawkins. You were playing on Hawkins. There seemed to be some sort of adjustment at quarter time because you really excelled after that. Yeah, I think um, it came up the ground more so. We, we were sort of letting them come through the middle a bit easy and um, rather nullify there, I suppose, their, um, their work right up the ground, which was, which was good. And it helps us back out when the ball comes in a bit longer and, and higher. So uh, credit goes to the mids and the forwards for that. Just watching a great tackle there on Tom Hawkins and also this spoil on Podsy Adley. Uh, did you feel any or extra motivation coming into the game? Of course, we had and the last time you played Geelong was in the grand final and you're on one leg in that second half trying to combat Tom Hawkins. Did you feel any extra motivation coming in knowing that you'd be playing on him? Yeah, oh, you don't really think about it too much. I suppose it's it's another game, and, and last year's last year. You can't really dwell on it too much, and you just look forward to what you can do, you know, at that at that moment. And um, for me, uh, on Friday night was to try and stop him, and um, you know, I was happy. I was able to do a bit of a job on him, and um, but I'm sure we're going to have a few more <laughs> contests over the next few years. Yeah, looking forward to those already. Now, tell us about your injury. When did you do it? Uh, yeah, with about uh, I think it was about ten minutes ago in the in the last quarter, and um, I. Pretty much was just going to kick the ball and uh, just felt a little bit of a twang. And so it was in the motion of kicking? Yeah, or just before. Right, I can't okay. really remember it too much, but um, it was just one of those things that happened. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get over that and uh, hopefully be back soon. Well, Ben, stick with us. Uh, we're going to talk some more footy in just a moment. But we've got some vision of Alex Fasolo, his first day of work experience. Um, how does that sit? Yeah, I couldn't see Faz doing too much work <laughs> at all, so um, it should be interesting. <laughs> Here he is. Okay, Magpie fans, Alex Fasolo here on my uh, first day of work experience at the great SEN 1116. Uh, I'm here to uh, do a little bit of work with Daniel Harford and um, probably take over the show, so uh, we'll see how we go. Let's do it. He's, uh, uh, I thought he was sick today. No, no, he's, he's not far away, actually, so probably don't oh, get good. too comfortable. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, ha. Oh. What's going on? Well, haven't you heard? What? I've taken over. Mo half time, <laughs> half time, Mate. Faz time. Mate, you never wait for a reason. Just give me a go. Just give me a go, half I can take us there. Bucks is telling me otherwise. Just give <laughs> He's telling me otherwise. So now you get personal. No, no, I'm just keeping it real, brother. Come on, mate. Look, I'm out there having a crack. Hang on, I'm, 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 I need this opportunity. You're a young man on the, on the up, and I love that about you. Okay. I love the fact you've got ambition. Okay. But don't mix it up with reality, my friend. Okay. So it's still half time? It's still half time. Still half time. Hey, KB. Come in. How are you? Going yeah, well. I'm just re reading a book about your club. Are you really? Yeah. Good read. Good what is it? Science book. Side, side by side. Side by side, yeah. Forwarded by Nick Maxwell. Beautiful. Fantastic. Good book. Oh, terrific. I was hoping to have a quick chat with you. That's all right. No just, problem. Just about uh, how successful you are in the uh, in the radio business, and I'm um, doing some work experience with uh, with Half, 
and I was wondering if I could get some uh, tips off you. A real veteran. Yeah. Well, uh, the first thing is always get the milk right and the sugar right. That's all I've heard. That's all I've heard. Always in a mug and not a cup. Yeah. Oh, always a mug. It's very, very important Beautiful. for starters. Okay. Now, I hear you actually weren't a bad little goal snake back in the day, a bit of a small forward like myself, and like me, you didn't like to handball it too often. Any, no, uh... don't get caught up with it. Look, Alex, <laughs> let me give you a bit of a tip here. Here you go. Whatever you do, don't get caught up with handball. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a fad, it's a craze, mm. and it'll never last. And, you know, people say, and I always believe this myself, that when I was playing, that you're only handballed at the last resort. Now, in my career, I never, ever got to the last resort. And I'm suggesting to you that you shouldn't either. So talk about Collingwood, get the milk and sugar right, and never, ever handball. Beautiful. Thanks a lot, KB. And never, ever forget Eddie. Remember that. Good <laughs> luck. Beautiful. Thanks a lot. He's got no chance, that kid. Time now on Halftime to catch up with a young man. We introduced you a couple of weeks ago from the Magpies, Alex Fasolo, who's back. G'day, Faz. G'day, Half. How are you? Going very well, mate. Now, you didn't play last week. You told us you were going to play, and you didn't play. I might have lied. I apologise. <laughs> Don't tell me they're lying for nah, you. Nah, nah, nah. My knee was a little bit sore. Didn't quite, uh, didn't quite get up, but um, it's feeling really good now. Ever been an issue where you thought there's been like fast or there's been dp or there's been a clump of mud you just want to check in someone's face? Oh, I reckon playing school footy I might have done it with a little clump of mud. I mean, we used to play in some <laughs> horrific fields and there'd be some mud around. But uh, but I was actually, to be I'm not going to lie, I was I was a bit of a culprit to put the baby on the arms. Yeah. As a young 13. As, as a, yeah, absolutely. Nothing to do with the slippage. <laughs> <laughs> All about a show on the pipes of the girls. And were the pipes back as a 13 year old? You wouldn't have thought that good. But uh, at the time, I thought I was killing it. That's the Faz Files for this week. He'll join us again very, very soon. Watch out. Yes. 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 That's a competitive nature of SEN. Yes. <laughs>